sometimes it's not possible to run on the pavement because well the guys use it as a workshop so you kind of got to mix it in with the traffic we're in Kulna I'm heading towards uh, the river at the end of the road I'm told and I can tell you hello hi mate how are you yeah. how are you mate <laughs> good good yeah thank you <laughs> bye enjoy thank you thank yeah. you I can tell you, there's a terrible smell. I can't see what it is yet, but it smells like death. Oh dear. Uh, I see it coming up. Oh my word. Oh. Oh, it's rotting. Oh. Oh. I'll just tell you, you can be very grateful my smell cam is broken. Wow. You know what though, apart from the smells, it's really charming. I mean, a bit hectic getting in with the traffic. Hello? Hi, my name. How are you? <laughs> well, oh, crossroads, crossroads, dangerous. Hello. Oh, junction. Hi. Uh, got through that one. Anyway, I'll see you at the river. Okay, I've run about three kilometres from our hotel, which is just out uh, in the centre of Kulna, and I've reached my destination. That looks great. Fresh fruit. Lovely. Um, but what I was heading for was the river. Which must be down here because I can smell fish. And it smells fresh too. Well, fresh to a degree. I've never been here before, so sharing the uh, adventure with me. In fact, there's only ever been one test match in Kulna. That was two years ago in 2012 against the West Indies so not too much international cricket here in fact they've only played four one days as well it must be the least well used international venue in the world I don't know whether that looks very safe to me they couldn't get any more people on that ferry if they were paid to it's just awful here I remember all the accidents, I mean they're much bigger ferries, but <laughs> I tell you what, it's a hive of activity, apart from for her, it'd be a quiet day for her. Yeah, there we go. Coolna Riverbank. not be joining him for a swim.